you were smart. Stairs? Who built this damn wall? Fitness instructor? What's that? <laughs> Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. Only opens with a key. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps. It's on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should've left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Better get out of here. One, two, three. Don't underestimate us again.
No bobby pins. Hey. What you something to say? Your thoughts? Nick's the finest sleuth in the Commonwealth. <laughs> if anyone can help you find your son, it's him. Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Nothing else for now. All right. Into each life, uh, a rain must fall. I think that was that was Ella Fitzgerald confirming that thought. <laughs> so um, this radio station here, we we don't really make any caps, and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, like this. Stop in for a drink at the Dugout Inn. The stories are free. The moonshine is asking. That's for Vadim Bobrov. What time is it? Why, it's time for a whole lot of shaking. Because, because that's the name of the next song. I thought I was trying something there. Probably didn't work. Nick. That's fine. You ready to talk? Yeah, How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. in the Commonwealth as long as I have, you learn a few things. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but that goes both ways. Always keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. Things can go from calm to deadly in a heartbeat. Damn mutts! The mayor's bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around. Come with a few uptight guards.
chained on the other side. Yes? 